I'm your martial arts expert, Damian McLeod. Welcome to Flawless Victory. Now today I'm going to show you how to execute the Yoel Romero knockout. Let's get it. So I'm going to make this quick and simple and to the point. If you saw the UFC fight the other night, you saw how Yoel Romero knocked out Luke Rockhold. Watch this. So he fights from a southpaw stance. Now, once he saw he had him dazed, his next move was very simple. The double jab. The overhand left. You fight from a southpaw, so that overhand left is pretty much coming overhand straight down the middle, just like that. So you saw the knockout move. It was jab, jab, overhand. And with the jab, he wasn't standing in place. He was chasing him down with the jab. So the first jab, boom, 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 overhand. He was making ground. With that overhand, he turns his body in and puts a lot of power by turning his waist and turning his body into that punch for the overhand which caught Rockhold right on top of the head. So I'm going to show you one more time then I'm actually demonstrate the move because he was catching ground as he was throwing out the double jab. So his fighting stance is pretty much like this. He has real dominant stance and then he took those footsteps forward with that double jab. Again, chased him down with the jab, and he came with the overhand right. Put his body into it. And from here, he didn't just throw it and pull it back. He threw, putting momentum, and his body turned into that punch. Just like this. turning, putting that momentum, it gave him enough power when that hit, hit him on top of the head, boom, it dazed it. So he, once he saw he had him down, he came again, I believe it was with the left hand. He came under, he stepped back here to show you. Once he threw that overhand left, and he connected, he knocked him down. I believe he stepped in, and he, <clears throat> Right to the jaw, or it might have been with the right hand, I can't remember right now, but either way, he got down, <clears throat> finished him with a punch right to the chin. So that Yoro Romero knockout was pretty devastating. Like I said before, he started back, he was catching his distance with the double punch, boom, steps forward, turns his body in, the overhand right, directly to the top of the head. Once he had him down, ground and pound time, he gets down there, I believe it was with the left hand. I believe it's the left hand. Got down, boom, right to the chin. So like I always say, practice makes perfect. Get a friend or a family member, practice these moves, do it safely. Remember, you're going at half speed or less. You're not trying to destroy your training partner. You're gonna go in, lightly throw the moves, no matter what it is, punch or kick, or spinning elbows. You make sure you go really slow with those. You don't want to knock anyone's teeth out. Practice the moves safely. So until next time, live free and fight hard.